Uh, what's unique about the Elastic Services platform is its focus. It's focused specifically on simplification. Uh, our customers are dealing with highly complex uh, networks and what we're aiming to do with the Elastic Services platform is hide a lot of the complexity in these networks to make their job much easier in terms of delivering services. So we're at the ECI headquarters uh, and I'm here with uh, Jonathan to talk about the Elastic Services platform. So Jonathan, can you just tell us exactly what the Elastic Services platform is? Uh, well, we'll give this answer in stages, but to start off with, uh, the Elastic Services platform starts with ECI's promise of the Elastic Network. The Elastic Network is focused on enabling our customers to deal with change, changing networks, changing customer expectations, and changing competition. The Elastic Services platform takes this promise to the next level. Uh, what it does, it's an ECI's framework encompassing our entire portfolio for enabling customers to focus on what's important to them, simplifying service delivery and automating network operations. Okay, so what are the exact components of the Elastic Services platform? What, what does it comprise of? Ah, thanks, Ray. Uh, the Elastic Services platform combines software and hardware. It utilizes a modular suite of software applications that exercise real-time programmatic control over a dynamic and reconfigurable packet plus optical plus virtualized network layer and that it can provide and extend the right capabilities to the right users based on their particular needs whether they're individual users through intuitive easy to use GUIs or their operation support systems through intent based APIs. Okay so there's, that's a lot of functionality in there. What would you say is unique about the Elastic Services platform? Uh, what's unique about the Elastic Services platform is its focus. It's focused specifically on simplification. Uh, our customers are dealing with highly complex uh, networks and what we're aiming to do with the Elastic Services platform is hide a lot of the complexity in these networks to make their job much easier in terms of delivering services. Uh, so, so why now? What, what has prompted this development uh, in 2018? Uh, well, there's been a sea change in terms of where the value is coming from uh, in the networks. Uh, I like to talk about this as an inversion. Uh, in the past, the value was in the networks themselves. And then on top of that, what you had is a network management layer that was supporting this particular value. But there wasn't that much importance attached to the network management layer. Uh, this has completely changed. Right now, we have the capabilities in the network that enable the value. But based on initiatives such as SDN and NFV, what's happening is the entire focus in terms of delivering the value is coming to the software layer. Uh, this is really front and center, and it's clearly evident as we go towards 5G services. So we're introducing many new types of hooks within the transport network to support things such as network slicing in 5G. We have things such as ODU Flex, flexible ethernet, which is like a universal clutch between the ethernet speeds and the physical layer. Uh, segment routing for a uh, uh, new uh, level of traffic engineering. Uh, all these things need to be within the network themselves. But in terms of exercising, exercising these capabilities to deliver network slicing, this needs to come from the software layer. So we absolutely need this uh, in terms of the future network environment. And, and more than that, it's very clear that the overall we're moving towards an agile, self-organized network. And the Elastic Services platform is ECI's vehicle for delivering that. Okay. So what kind of response have you had from, from customers, from the market? Uh, the, mar the market response has been very, very positive, both from our customers and a whole series of analysts that we've introduced this to. Uh, they're saying ECI is right on the mark. Uh, we've, we've clearly seen the change coming and we're adapting to this particular change. So where can we expect to see the Elastic Services platform being rolled out? Which kind of operators are going to be deploying this first? Uh, well, certainly it will be rolled out among uh, all our customers. Uh, we've actually started to roll this out even about a year and a half, even before it was announced. Okay. Uh, e ECI has been very active in the uh, MEF and uh, as part of MEF, uh, we've been working with a number of service providers in terms of creating a sandbox. Uh, there's one particular project called the Service Fulfillment and Activation Project, uh, which focuses on creating 
dynamically services uh, spanning multiple service providers. We've done this together with PCCW, Tata, and Telecom Italia Sparkle. And this is actually based on the same software that we're using to implement Muse. Uh, but that's something which people are playing with today. In terms of commercial deployments, uh, we're starting to roll this out uh, within the next few months uh, with one of our largest uh, customers who's using uh, the Elastic Services platform to uh, implement and automate their service provisioning for their very, very large mobile backhaul network encompassing thousands of nodes. So I talked earlier about automated service provisioning. So we're supporting direct interfaces to their OSS where they'll be exercising intent-based uh, interfaces to create the various types of MPLS connections that they need to implement their backhaul. Uh, this is saving them per connection approximately one and a half hours and making the overall process much more simple. Okay. Well, it sounds like you're meeting a, a lot of the modern day requirements of network operators. So, Jonathan, thanks very much for telling us about it today. Thank you very much, Ray.